today. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing really good. Okay. Doing really good. Things, things are well. Okay, go ahead and do it. You? You're great. Uh, go ahead and do an introduction. Tell us who you are really quickly. Go ahead and do that. My name is Darren Southam. I am an actor, director, writer. I do produce as well. I'm the writer of the film Brain of Judges titled Liberty, which is uh, the point you're calling me. I've mm -hmm. been in several films myself as an actor. I've directed probably a handful of commercials, uh, probably 15 or 20 uh, for Adobe and other companies. I've written, written some scripts. This is my first feature script that I've written, mm -hmm. Brain of Judges titled Liberty. So. I've been acting for probably, I don't know, 20 years. Oh, wow. I, think I haven't looked at my credits. I think I've got um, 15 films that I've done or so. Uh, not all of them are on IMDb. I've got some independence off of that. But mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. I, I'm, uh, I'm a married man to a wonderful woman. And I've uh, got three awesome kids. And so, yeah, we're just uh, living the dream, I guess. <laughs> Okay, um, what inspired you to become an actor and take on this project? What, what, those are the two questions I have right off the bat. Go right ahead and do that, Darren. What inspired me to be an actor? Yeah. Um, I have, um, uh, my first acting experience was when I was actually in junior high school. I started in a, a play, I took a drama course, and it just, man, it bit me, the bug bit me, and I, I, I was a ham. I was just, I was a goofball. I, I would practice falling down. I would do stunts and run into walls and scare my mother to death. That's where it kind of started as an actor. And then, uh, see, when I was uh, in my late teens, I started thinking about film and going, oh, you know, I think I, I really want to be an actor. You know, people, hey, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I started mm -hmm. telling people, like, I want to act in films. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know what all that meant. I just knew that it's something I drawn to uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I got an agent actually I was kind of a late starter on the film scene I, I got an agent when I was I think 22 22 or 23 and uh, about six months after I got an agent I booked my first Disney job um, a Disney film going to the map uh, made for TV film and, uh, and then a year after that I booked another Disney film Halloween Town High and, uh, and then uh, the following year, I almost booked the uh, uh, well, Disney's Buffalo Dreams. But then I'd, I think I was a little too old to play a teenager at that point. At least that's what they thought. I had the director convince me. He said, uh, how old are you? <laughs> I told him my age. And, you know, the, the casting director was like, oh, I'll take it. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't get that one. But uh, as it was, uh, I got cast as a, as a, a late teenager about three years later, so <laughs> anyway, um, so that's kind of how I got into it, uh, acting is something I've, I've always loved, I've, I've always enjoyed the thrill of, uh, mm. you know, it's it's a thrill to be able to, to play someone else and, and kind of put yourself in their shoes, to have that empathy, if you mm. will, to uh, really develop that yeah. spirit of empathy to be able to relate to a character and then also have the audience uh be moved through that character that you're portraying. It's just a really yeah. awesome feeling to, especially you know, when you're involved in a film that's uplifting someone, it's just thrilling to be able to uplift someone else and enlighten their day. So that's for acting. Um, and why I'm passionate about acting now. This project that I'm working on now, Reign of Judges, titled Liberty, uh, about, see, I guess it was the end of 2012. Started writing this. I, I actually started writing it before that, but I only wrote ten pages, and I sat on it for about eight or ten months. And then I felt like I should pick it up again, so I picked it up. And uh, what inspired me to write throughout this story is that uh, I am I'm a devout uh, patriot uh, to my country. I'm an American. I love America, uh, and uh, I am just so grateful. I don't know what I did to deserve to be born in this awesome country that I'm in, but I certainly um, enjoyed the liberties and freedoms that this country offers uh, from a young age. I was born here, and I just, uh, for a long time, honestly, I, I, I feel like I took it for granted living mm -hmm. in this awesome country and having the liberties that, that, I, that I've had growing up. Mm -hmm. But uh, as of late, especially uh, you know, in the last uh, even eight years, eight to ten years, it seems like uh, my country's been changing, America's been changing.
changing, and consequently the world has been changing. Right. Uh, and, and the freedoms, those freedoms that I had long enjoyed and, and much of my life taken for granted all of a sudden were being taken. I felt uh, they were being um, threatened in a way that I have never seen in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. And uh, this stirred my soul uh, deeply. I just, and, uh, and it brought out a side of me that honestly I didn't know, I didn't know it was really there. Until, you know, you know, sometimes you don't know until you're back against the wall what you got inside you. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what happened with this. And I just you know, got, um, anyway, that, that came out and uh, my feelings about freedom defending that. And this story was the perfect medium. Right. Uh, I've been a student of reading. I've read it under the times, the, the battles of Captain Moroni and uh, the Nephite Republic. Actually, I mean, just from just reading the story, they just explode in your mind. Mm-hmm. And uh, the epicness of these battles, what they're fighting for, they're fighting for their, for their lives, for the freedom, for their families. For the right to for the right of conscience, for the right to to worship according to their conscience, which is just an awesome being able to right no one can give or take away. They were fighting to keep this this right that they had, and uh, so the story is like this perfect platform. And all of a sudden, it kind of all lined up. Like, oh my gosh, this story is so timely. It's exactly. I just felt like, oh, if if, if the whole world could watch the story in a way that it's not like here's a story and we're going to teach you now but just an awesome story you take just the story itself the epicness of it the warfare the treachery uh, the treason and, and the patriotism uh, all clashing together and also there's there's a love interest in the story also that's just cool for, for the ladies you know there's, there's something for everybody in this story and just it's gripping and take that story and just tell the story and let the lessons tell themselves, just like any film. I mean, God, I remember watching Remember the Titans years ago in the theater when that came out, and I just was crying. Mm-hmm. And, you know, here's a here's moment when, uh, you know, he comes, uh, who, is, who is the uh, African-American uh, uh, that was friends with, with the linebacker who got hurt, and he comes mm-hmm. to see him in the hospital, and I just, just cried. And I, mm-hmm. Talking about the type of film where someone watches it, and they're so inspired and moved by the story. And what is the story? The story is about the fight for freedom and what that means, what it means to be free, what liberty really is. And I feel like in a, in, in a large part, uh, America, um, there's millions of people in America and all over the world who still believe in freedom and know what that is. But I think that we, I think the whole world needs a reminder of what liberty really is, what is the foundation of liberty, and that's what this story is about. They're fighting for that foundation of liberty. Um, John Adams told us what that was. And he said that uh, public virtue cannot exist without private virtue. Right. And virtue, virtue is the only foundation upon which the public can stand. It's the only foundation of the public. The foundation of liberty is uh, making moral and virtuous choices. Mm. And the moment that uh, people start away from that, our freedom start being taken. Right. So, in this story, you've got a the uh, classic, amazing hero, Captain Moroni, a young, huge, buff, strapping guy who is absolutely fearless to defend his people, and he stands up against the tyrant in this film, the tyrant who seeks to be king, and he seeks to lead the people to do whatever they want. No one can tell you what to do and to mm-hmm. make all sorts of choices that will enslave them. Right. And uh, create a situation, create a problem. He, 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 the Malachi is the nemesis here. And he comes about, he creates this chaos and problems so that he can step in and say, I'll be your king and I'll 